Hello and welcome to this Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can make this Diwali lens in Lens Studio. All of the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens will be linked down below. And yeah, let's create. Here's how you can make that lens. First, we will learn how you can put a rangoli on the ground. Go to templates and then select animated object template. You can do this either directly by opening a new project, but using an animated object template makes it a lot easier. This is what you will see. You will see two animated 3D objects on top of the ground. First, we will remove both of these objects. To do that, First, I will remove the world object controller for elephant and then remove just the 3D element from the world object controller of red panda. Now you can see that both of our 3D objects have been removed. You can also delete this from the resources panel. Shift select both of the 3D objects and select delete. Next, we will need a rangoli to put on top of the ground. You can find 3D objects on websites like Sketchfab and CG Trader. If you want to learn how to make 3D lenses, you can also check out the 3D lenses tutorial on this page. A link to it will be down below. I'm going to use the Sketchfab website to find my 3D object. To find the Rangoli object, I'm going to search for the word Dia. You can also search for the word Rangoli and you will find a bunch of options. Here, I'm going to select this one called the Wali 3D poster. Here, there's a Rangoli, and there are Dias as well as lanterns. All you have to do now is download this 3D model. I'm going to download the GLB version, which is 1 MB, and click on download. Then you can save the file. I will also link this 3D model down in the description below. So you can go there and download this file as well. Once that's done, go into your Lens Studio file Go to Resources, Add New Resource, Import File, and Import your 3D object. Then click on Import. Next, open the drop down of your 3D model. Drag and drop the last option here into your World Object Controller. Make sure this is on top of your ground grid. The size of this 3D model is really, really big. We are going to change the size of this. Go to scale, click on uniform scale, and make this smaller. I'm going to make it to about 10. You can also see that this is not in the middle of our screen. So I'm going to select the world object controller, click on the W key, which is shortcut or the stop button right here and put this right in the center. I'm also going to reduce the size by a little bit more. And yeah, you can also come here and delete any of the objects that you don't want. I'm going to delete the poster from here and yeah, I think this looks pretty good. You can also now go ahead and add text into this by going and clicking on screen text. In the screen text, I'm going to put Happy Diwali. Then you can also change the font of this. You can add custom fonts as well. To learn how you can add custom fonts, I will link the video in the i button right here 
and also in the description. So do check it out. Here, I'm going to select a font that is already available from Snapchat called Dancing Script. Now you can change the position of this. I'm going to keep it right there. You can also add any other images and PNGs that you want, but make sure that these images are copyright free. You can also find some Diwali frames from pngtree.com. I'm going to come here and download this frame right here and hit on PNG download. Make sure you have logged in to PNG tree with your account. I'm going to download this one right here and hit on download. Once that's done, I'm going to import my downloaded file by going to resources, add new resource, import file and importing the texture. Next, to add this image to my screen, I'm going to go to objects, add new object, screen image and then drag and drop the image that I just downloaded. Here, I'm going to put fill and cut as a stretch mode. You can change the position of this and I'm going to make it look like it's on top of the screen. Next, I'm going to resize and reposition the last letter. And yeah, this is how you can make a Diwali lens in Lens Studio. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.